Days after the United States punished CCP officials linked to the persecution of Muslim minorities in China, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, announced sanctions against four American officials and a U.S. entity on July 13th. Senator Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, Representative Chris Smith, Sam Brownback, and the U.S. Congressional Executive Commission on China are all sanctioned. Sam Brownback is the ambassador-at-large for international religious freedom. They are all sanctioned for their public opposition of the CCP treatments and persecution of Uyghurs. At least one million Uyghurs are detained in internment camps in China's far western region of Xinjiang. On July 13th, a spokesperson from the U.S. Department of State said China's retaliatory measures further demonstrates the CCP's refusal to take responsibility for its actions in Xinjiang. There is no moral equivalency between these PRC, People's Republic of China, sanctions and actions taken by countries holding accountable CCP officials for their human rights abuses, the spokesperson added. Rubio wrote on Twitter, The Communist Party of Hashtag China has banned me from entering the country. I guess they don't like me? Cruz said in a statement, The Chinese Communist Party is terrified and lashing out. They forced over one million Uyghurs into concentration camps and engaged in ethnic cleansing, including horrific forced abortions and sterilizations. Unfortunately, I don't have plans to travel to the authoritarian regime that covered up the coronavirus pandemic and endangered millions of lives worldwide. Smith says that state-run outlet Global Times previously threatened countermeasures against him for his advocacy work targeting China's human rights abuses. He said in a statement, Two weeks ago, I was briefed by the FBI that the threat was real and the CCP's action could take many forms, from bribes to social media disinformation and visa denial. When COVID-19 abates, I was slash am planning a trip to Hong Kong, Beijing, and Urumqi, the capital of Xinjiang. We must continue to stand with the Chinese people against an increasingly authoritarian Chinese government that represses legitimate desires for liberty and justice. Smith didn't clarify whether those plans have been cancelled. Brownback didn't immediately respond to a request by the Epic Times for a comment. This month, Smith called for action after a report alleged that Beijing was forcibly sterilizing Uyghurs. Rubio and Cruz have pushed legislation that would punish the actions of CCP officials in Xinjiang, home to roughly 11 million Uyghurs. The United States last week announced sanctions against Chen Chengguo, the party secretary of the Xinjiang region, Zhu Hailong, a former deputy party secretary of the region, Wang Mingshan, director of the Xinjiang Public Security Bureau, Huo Liu Jun, former party secretary of the bureau, and the bureau itself. Brownback praised that move, saying it served as accountability a long time coming. The sanctions show the Trump administration will protect religious freedom at all costs, he said. On July 13th, China's foreign ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying told reporters that affairs in Xinjiang are purely China's internal affairs. The United States has no right or grounds to interfere. 